Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to take a look at the IS-100 Fly Tower. So this is a full stack for a 20x20 20 20 build, uh, maybe towards aimed kind of towards uh, Hyperlight builds. And uh, it's by Spedex, so it's going to be pretty interesting. So let's take a look at this. So obviously it's a 20x20 20 20 stack and it's a 4-in-1 ESC F4 flight controller with OSD and a VTX. And it is all stackable via pins. And I really like this. Um, it, especially for micros, this is a must-have. Um, for example, some of them just have an insane small amount of space to set this up. Now, let's check this out. This is what really, really attracted me to this stack. Let's go ahead and check its overall height stack, which is just going to be gorgeous, not including standoffs. 11.42 millimeters. That is awesome. All right, so let's take a look at this. So first of all, we are greeted with the VTX and um, we do have a bunch of connectors, standoffs in a Rubicon 100 micro, 150 microfarad, low ESR capacitor rated at 25 volts. Yes, 25 volts as we can see right there. So let's go ahead and check out the manual here. Let's see how well it's documented before we proceed. So we have a, p a piece for the 4 one ESC. So it's a 20 amp ESC and it's a 25 amp burst current for 10 seconds and it takes up to a 4s lipo which is very good to see d shot 600 is maximum pwm are not recommended for some reason don't know why but that's very nice they included it so the flight controller is an f405 so it's an f4 flight controller with osd mpu 6000 gyro supports up to d shot 1200 that's obvious um but you would need to replace the esc if you want to d shot 1200 S bus PPM, so this supports PPM. Not a lot of uh, flight controllers lately have PPM support, and it has a five volt regulator on board, so that's pretty nice. It takes two to four S LiPo, which is the flight controller. So if you ever burnt your ESC and you wanted a different ESC, you could just take full on up to four S LiPo. Uh, the the voltage regulator is five point one at one point two amps maximum. Just try not to exceed over nine hundred. Uh, milliamps on the back that's on here and I don't think you would anyways um, and yeah it's 20 by 20 and let's check out the VTX here so the VTX it takes input 5 to 6 volts so this is you know 5 to so basically 5 volt VTX on this guy and it gives you the current reading so you can calculate the current so you don't over um, you know you don't you don't uh, you don't pass the highest rated maximum amperage that's on the 5 volt regulator on the flight controller here so it's when it's running at 100 milliwatts so this thing runs at 100 milliwatts maximum here and it takes 250 milliamps so let's say your camera takes another 200 milliamps and then we can say your receiver takes 100 milliamps so you're well below the 1.2 maximum rated amperage on the voltage regulator okay so that's very nice to see uh, maybe that's why the reason they put a hundred milliwatt VTX because then people once they start connecting everything they'll probably burn out the back and they'll be like oh it's a piece of shit I don't want to shit and you know this is what happens to everybody I've seen this everywhere actually so overall it's a pretty good um, stack I really like the the stack height and um, it doesn't really say how many channels there are but um, yeah that, that's cool I mean everything is just um, very well labeled so let's go ahead and take a look at the board now all right so let's zoom in and get a better idea so here we are greeted with the VTX and the instructions for the VTX are inside the manual so there's no need for me to go over that and it'll just be very daunting and very long and uh, we want to be careful while removing these tiny pins VTX looks nice very minimal they didn't cut it off right off of the PCB when they when they were made right there as you can tell you that you could just take that off but be very careful I'd recommend you get some kind of a knife and just slowly pop that off but that's totally fine so Spedex, let's just talk a little bit about Spedex while we're taking this apart. Spedex is basically like Airbot, but like a lower version of Airbot. They are manufacturing. They do manufacture for a lot of other companies. For example, on my previous uh, mailbag time video where I showed this UFO 41 ESC, which I originally thought it might be a typhoon because of the heat sink. But when I took it apart, uh, one of my or one of the viewers or subscribers commented saying, it's basically a GS35 from Spedex that's rebranded. I have one on the way and we'll be able to compare that and just confirm if that's true or not. And uh, I do believe him. I, there's no doubt because it really look, it looks very close to the IS-100 4-in-1 ESC there. So Spedex is the manufacturer. And uh, let's just take a look at this little board here. So we do have the OSD right there, the OSD chip. 
And if we take a look at the bottom, we have a big fat F405 uh, microcontroller unit. And here's the coil for the back. And um, yeah, it's, it's oh, it does have solder pads. That's awesome. So you can do this both ways. You can either use the connectors, and the connectors are well labeled inside the, uh, uh, what is it called, the, the manual here. If we take a look here, and then we put it like this. So the VTX would go there, 5 volt video and ground, if you can see that, it's right there. The camera, oh, nope, that's completely wrong. I have to flip it like, wait, that's not really making any more sense to me. Oh, no, now it is. Okay, so for some reason, on this, it doesn't show that they're connectors. It's only showing that they're pads. So can if you rip this off, will be pads under this? I'm not sure. So this is kind of strange here for right now, but that's cool. So I guess you would have to solder your VTX, connect your camera through the pad here, through the JST type connector, which they do provide you right here. So you don't have to go scouring around looking for these. Or you could just go ahead and just solder everything to the bottom. And I think that's what I probably end up doing anyways, because it's just less work. And I think it'd be just a lot cleaner, really. So let's take a look at this guy here. So actually looking at this guys, um, I don't see that you can connect, um, yeah, your battery, I mean your camera, you're going to have to connect them um, through these connectors here actually. So you'd have to use the connector for the camera, you have to solder your VTX right here, and your receiver would be here, but what is the receiver, it doesn't really say, it's probably S bus here but uh, it's not really that detailed when you really look into it actually and then we receiver select oh the bottom side is basically um you know bridges to select what do you want ppm and s bus and it's uh, on rx1 which is dsm spectrum yeah we, if you want s bus you would have to uh bridge this middle one right here so it's going to be here somewhere Let's take a look at this. There it is. So if you wanted S bus, you would have to bridge those two right there, the bottom two. And if you wanted uh, just a regular, I guess, S bus that's not inverted, you would have to go to the RX one right there, uh, bridge those two together. And um, yeah, or you could just solder it directly to right there. And I think it should be good, possibly. Uh, that's what I think, unless the inverter is here somewhere. But yeah, just it, no, it just makes really sense because it's gonna pass through here anyways. So you can probably just solder your S bus right there. You don't even have to bridge them if you wanted to. So that's pretty cool. Um, overall, I mean, it's, it's very nice little board. I will be building it, and it does look conformal coded. I don't know if you can see that shine. Um, it could possibly be conformal coded here. Let's take a look at the ESC now. So this is a 20 amp D shot 600 ESC, and I do like the filtration. Uh, usually these boards don't come with much filtration, but as you can tell here, we do have some nice filtration going on for it. And uh, it does not have a regulator on board as it states, and the, so the firmware that it's using is a GH15. And um, some things that I could quickly note is the pads here are very small. And uh, when you set up your, let's just say JST, um, let's just say your XT30 connector, um, you know, when you're moving and putting the battery, you, you, I highly recommend you zip tie the wire because I have ruined 20 by 20 ESCs by just doing that. So that's something that's very important to take note of here. And uh, we do have the pads on both sides. So that's very nice. I really don't like how MOSFETs get so close to these. Uh, that's just, you just got to be careful here. Make sure your wires are very short so you don't touch this. Uh, but usually it's fine. Nothing really bad happens. But, you know, just you don't know what your luck, how well your luck is going to play out. Overall, it's a nice little stack. I really, really like it. I really love how much space it's actually saving here. And um, I can't wait to test this now. I'm very curious how well this is going to perform. I'm probably going to stick it with some, uh, what are they called? The RCN Power 1108 motors. I think that would make it very nice. Uh, very nice stack on probably a drone mesh split sane build, uh, which will be pretty cool. And if you want one of those frames, it really support the channel. It's a pretty damn awesome frame. It flies absolutely beautiful. I already lost two, and I didn't. That's why I don't have any footage of them yet, and that's why I want to build another one. But overall, this looks like a pretty nice stack. It's very well priced, and I think this is better than the HJLRC. But time will tell. And uh, we'll see how well this works out. But overall, uh, it looks like a good one. That's all I could really say right now, guys. So if you are interested in it, here it is. Um, 
build quality looks pretty good and uh that's all i can really say guys so i really hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you next time see you guys take care